Hello, this is Prophet Joel Ogebe. Let me address this while I address. If you read the book of Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20, a popular passage, it says, He that walks with the wise shall be wise, but the companion of fools shall be destroyed. Now, a lot of people know this passage, but they don't really grasp the message. And the message is captured in the Hebrew version of this particular text. Now, in the Hebrew version, the word used for companion there is haulau and that means pastor the one who feeds that the pastor and the word used for fool is kesil which means fat so in real sense it's saying that he that walks with the wise shall be wise but the one who pastors the fool who feeds the foolish shall be destroyed now a lot of people don't understand that even a wise man can find himself in the company of fools if he doesn't know the wisdom of this message now how do the wise find themselves in the company of fools simple by feeding them by feeding them yes i have also found myself in that you know making that mistake too at some point feeding the fool now when you keep consumption driven people around you you would waste that is guaranteed you would experience waste because the word translated to mean destroy is actually shout you will wail in pain so what is that passage actually teaching us it's teaching us that he that walks with the wise the wise has a way and if one follows the process of the wise he would get the result of the wise he himself would be wise but one who feeds the fool, who gives them result, but not allow them go through process, that one would cry. All right. And at some point in our lives, we've kept foolish people around us. We fed them and yet they've all avoided process. Now, listen, there's no amount of love that you should have for a person that should allow you make them skip process process imparts wisdom discipline understanding and knowledge process imparts the vital skill one needs to survive so i know you are a good person i know you are generous i know you want to take care of people you want to be a blessing to people but according to this passage if you become a pastor to the fools people who are not production conscious production driven people who don't apply themselves to process people are not growing but they are consuming they are being fed they are being made fat guess what you would be destroyed now proverbs chapter 14 verse 7 also gives us some similar wisdom on how to deal with foolish people he said escape the message version say escape from the foolish man because there is no knowledge in his lips foolish people don't like process and process is vital for imparting knowledge foolish people are entitled people foolish people desire the result but do not want the process so the wisdom i'm imparting to you today is learn not to be a pastor to the fool learn not to be one who feeds the fool whether they're your family members whether they're your friends anyone who does not want to get his hand dirty go through the process should not eat up the cornfield i hope this has been addressed and i hope you've gained wisdom god bless you follow me for more of such content till i see you again on dress to address shalom